I have two questions for you. When was the last time you went to confession? Has it been a few weeks, a few months, a few years, or a few decades? And the second question is, why haven't you gone to confession in so long? Is it the age old excuse that you don't have time? I know that's the one that I use. Or is it something more? Whatever the excuse may be, because they are excuses, you might be avoiding confession for all the wrong reasons. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that you need to know about confession that will make it way easier for you to step into that confessional with confidence. Make sure you stick around to the end of number five. I am sure that it's going to surprise you. Let's get into it. Number one, Jesus gives us the gift of reconciliation. Right after his death and resurrection, Jesus goes to his apostles and gives them the power to forgive our sins through the sacrament of reconciliation. Now, before anyone gets lost on me, the formal term for confession is the sacrament of reconciliation. In the Gospel of John, Jesus appears to his apostles after his resurrection and tells them, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. So in this passage, Jesus specifically gives his apostles his power to forgive or not to forgive sins. And by extension, he's telling us, his people, to go to his apostles, his bishops and priests, for the forgiveness of our sins. We have confession available to us because Jesus loves us so much that he made it easy for us to restore our relationship with him by gifting us the sacrament of reconciliation. Number two, in confession, Jesus is the one who absolves you of your sins. So if you've read your Bible, you know that God is the only one that can forgive sins, right? So how is it possible that a priest can forgive your sin? Well, for two reasons. In large part, because Jesus gave them that authority to do it. We just talked about that in number one on this list. But the second part of that answer is due to a really important concept in Catholicism called in persona Christi. It is Latin for in the person of Christ. Basically, what in persona Christi means is that when a priest hears your confession, the priest is the one physically present in the confessional, but the priest is acting in the person of Christ. That means that Jesus, through his priests, is present for your confession, and he personally hears your confession, and he is the one that absolves you of your sins. Before walking in to hear your confession, the priest basically puts on Jesus before he enters the confessional. And you might be thinking, puts on Jesus? Where does that idea even come from? Well, St. Paul talks about it in his second letter to the Corinthians, and here he's specifically talking about confession. He says, Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. What I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ. But those words, in the presence of Christ, are also translated in the person of Christ. So St. Paul was forgiving the sins of others, not through his own power, but through the power that Jesus had gifted his apostles. From the New Testament days, from the very beginning of the early church, St. Paul was already hearing confession in the person of Christ. And this concept of the priest acting in the person of Christ doesn't just apply to the sacrament of reconciliation. It actually applies to all of the sacraments. And if you want to see an outward sign of the priest putting on Christ before confession, Take a look at what he's wearing. The priest physically puts on or wears a purple stole. This is a visible sign to you and to everyone really that the priest is there to hear your confession in the person of Christ. Now, if you're still with me at this point, hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. And please share this video with somebody who hasn't been to confession in a while. It might help them out. Number three, God not only forgives your sins, he also forgets them. Personally, I think this one's pretty cool. Yes, God forgets our sins after they have been forgiven. If you don't believe me, check out all of these Bible passages. I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sin. For I will be merciful towards their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. I will remember their sins and their misdeeds no more. I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. In his infinite mercy, God tells us over and over again in the Bible that he will not only forgive our sins, but he will also forget them. Number four, the seal of confession. Now, if you've never heard about the seal of confession, this one thing may completely change the way you see confession forever. When you go to confession and the priest absolves you of your sins, that absolution, that forgiveness, falls under a thing called a sacramental seal. This seal prevents the priest from 
ever revealing your sin to anyone for any reason ever. And this seal can never be violated under any circumstances. Church law states, it is absolutely forbidden for a confessor to betray an any way a penitent in words or in any manner and for any reason. For any reason, the priest can't break the seal of confession to save his own life. He can't break the seal to keep him from going to jail. And he can't break the seal to report a crime that you confess. And he cannot be compelled to disclose your confession in a court of law ever. And before I forget, it doesn't matter if the priest hears your confession in a confessional, in your backyard, in your car, or whether he is or isn't wearing a purple stole. It doesn't matter. The sacramental seal applies no matter the circumstances of your confession. All that matters is that he's a validly ordained priest and that he uses the prayer of absolution when you're done with the confession. If you don't know what that is, I'll put it in the description. And the penalty for a priest breaking the sacramental seal is automatic excommunication from the church. This means that if a priest breaks the sacramental seal, he wouldn't be able to celebrate mass or impart any of the sacraments. Even more importantly, he wouldn't even be able to receive the Eucharist. This is not something that any priest who has given up his entire life to serve God will take lightly. So knowing that your confession will be completely private, you can now go to confession with confidence that your sins will be heard, they'll be forgiven, they will be forgotten, and they will never be shared with anyone for any reason ever. Number five, you don't have to go to a priest in your parish. Most of the time, the shame from what we've done will keep us from going to confession. We feel like our parish priest will judge us after he hears everything that we've done. I once heard that the devil is the master of deception because he makes us lose our shame when it comes time to sin, but he multiplies our shame when we even think about going to confession. And this shame is why so many of us hold on to our sins for years. So my advice is if you're so ashamed and so embarrassed about your sin that you don't want to go to confession with your parish priest, even behind those privacy screens in the confessional, you can go to any priest in any Catholic church anywhere. Boom, problem solved. The important thing here is for you to just go to confession, that you come back to having a right relationship with our Lord Jesus, not for his benefit, but for yours. That's the only thing that matters. Jesus works through all of his priests, so it will be a valid confession. But you might be missing the point. I can guarantee that your parish priest won't be shocked by your sin, and he won't secretly be judging you either. If they have been a priest for any length of time, I assure you that they've heard far worse than what you have been carrying around with you for so long. One older priest I know once told me that if he remembered everything he heard in confession, he would go crazy. So trust me, they don't want to remember all of our stuff. On the contrary, your priest will be glad that you're in confession. They don't care about your sin. They don't want to judge your bad decision making. We're all human. We all make mistakes. What your priest truly cares about is getting you closer to Jesus. He's dedicating his entire life to help you get closer to Jesus. And the priest knows that a good confession is the best way for you to get closer to Jesus. So just go to your priest for confession. He will be glad that you did. So now that you know that Jesus gifted us the sacrament of reconciliation and that he's the one that forgives our sins. And on top of that, he forgets our sins and everything you say is protected by the seal of confession and that you can go to any Catholic priest anywhere what are you waiting for? Check with your parish and head off to confession today. If you want any more information on any of the stuff that I talked about in this video, I'll leave some links in the description. Please pray for me and I will definitely pray for you and remember to live your life for God's greater glory. God bless.